Good neighbours help each other out, and so it is in the Walsall area where Natasha and Catherine noticed unusual withdrawals on their statements made from cash points in Italy. They were obviously fraudulent because they hadn't left the country, so they compared notes and warned their friends. I'm one in about ten people that I know closely that have um, had this... This has happened to various amounts of money going out of different people's accounts. Um, and we all visit the same local petrol station. It was, oh my goodness, you know, what are we going to do with, where's that gone and now we're going to get it back and, you know, you can't afford to just lose £140, can you? Natasha and Catherine believe thieves got hold of their card details and, crucially, their PIN numbers as well. The local CID tell us, yes, they've received a large number of complaints and they're in the process of working their way through them. They've also raided the garage in question and a number of items have been seized, though no one's been arrested so far. The introduction of chip and pin supposed to have made our cards safer, but experts admit it's hard to tackle fraud when transactions are made from abroad. Of course the rest of the world is upgrading, but we're also using fraud intelligence systems which pick up any irregular spending patterns on our cards and which means that you're more than likely to get a call from your bank if a fraudster is trying to use your card in some far-flung destination. For legal reasons, we can't identify the garage, but the owner told us he was mystified by the police investigation. Catherine and Natasha will think twice before using their cards again.